So we're here in basically a dump. You can hear the dump truck over there. There's trash everywhere. And we got our bus that's also covered in dirt and grime and nastiness behind us. And it's been like this for as long as we can remember. Two years. And we've gotten a lot of comments about how gross and nasty the outside of our bus looks. Mm. How we still have the YMCA paint on the outside. And for probably like the first two or three months that we had the bus, those comments really bothered me a lot. Yeah, and we considered painting it many, many, many times. Mostly just because of the comments we got. People been like, oh, you live in that thing? <laughs> that thing looks nasty. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So we want to talk about that a little bit today. So when we first bought this bus, started converting it and putting videos out on YouTube, we started getting a bunch of comments and emails and questions about why didn't we get a Sprinter van? Why didn't we get just a typical van life vehicle? Why did we get a YMCA school bus? <laughs> and I'd love to tell you that I thought that this bus was better, but in reality at that time, I wanted a Sprinter van. Mm -hmm. I wanted the high top classic van life van, but we didn't have the money to get one. Right. They were 15, 20, 30. $40,000 yep. for these vans with mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of miles. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the money to buy one at the time. Many of you guys asked, and I'm sure many of you guys are still probably wondering, why didn't you just paint it? Paint it a really cool color, make it look really nice on the outside. And really the reason why we didn't do it was for two reasons. Number one, time. And number two, money. When we initially set out for this trip, we only had the intention of traveling for about six months. So we were kind of on a time crunch. And for us, it didn't really seem worth it to invest the time and invest the money to paint the bus because it was only going to be used for a short period of time. So now you might be saying, okay, a six month road trip makes sense not to paint the vehicle, but now it's been two years. Why haven't we painted the vehicle even though we've been traveling in it for two years. We had so much time. And to keep it simple, the real reason is we just didn't care to. I think after working in the corporate world for a while, doing restaurant marketing, and having to wear a suit, cut my hair, be very presentable, be clean shaven, for years and years and years and years, well, I guess I wouldn't say years and years and years and years. It was like four years. But nonetheless, after doing that for four years, doing something that didn't bring me any enjoyment, like being in a suit, looking really nice, just brought me zero satisfaction. It was actually more just a pain in the butt. And that was kind of how we felt about the van. It was like having a bus on the outside that looked cool meant nothing to us. It brought us no value. The only thing, the only reason we were really thinking about doing it was because people wanted us to and we wanted people to like our, our bus. But then we kind of like, the more we thought about it, it was like, well, we're not really doing this for us. We wouldn't really be doing this for us. We'd be doing this for our friends, our family, and a lot of you guys, a lot of our viewers. Hi guys. What's up, dude? Welcome to Flores. <laughs> it's 100 degrees. That's 100? It's 100. Right. Even in the rain. Well, it's 100 degrees. It's pouring rain out. Welcome to Flores. So the big thing to do here is go to a rope swing called George's Rope Swing. And you gotta get there by boat. So we're hopping on a boat right now. Grab it. Or an 
I'm, dude, I'm definitely not bringing the rope swing over there. I learned my lesson. Right? You're definitely going first. I'll film you. You go first. No, no. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's true. All right, give me count down to five. <laughs> All right. Five. Four. Suck it! Oh! Ah! Oh my god. Well that was an absolute blast. I don't remember the last time I went on a rope swing like that. I don't think I've ever went on a rope swing that intense in my entire life. It was a blast. So much fun. So back to the topic of the bus and why we decided not to paint it and keep it as it is because it still has the YMCA decals on the outside it's actually allowed us to kind of be a little bit more stealthy in the ways that we camp places that we go um, usually we don't ever get people coming and knocking on our door asking us to see you know the inside of our bus because from the outside it doesn't really look like a converted bus and honestly we have to say we didn't plan that out at all. No. Like we can't take any credit for it, we just got kind of lucky. Totally. So our time in Flores was short lived, there's a lot to explore here, but we gotta keep moving. We're going to Tikal tomorrow, so we gotta get a little bit closer. We're gonna drive to our camp spot now. So we're just about a minute away from the camp spot, but I just want to show you guys something. I need to give a shout out to Nick in Seattle, or in Washington, he's just outside of Seattle. He helped me install this light, this light bar in the front of the bus. Look at the difference. This thing has been saving our lives. Look at the difference. This is with the light bar on. Look at it with it off. That's insane. Yeah. So you can't, you can't see anything. Our lights are so bad and everything is so dark because there's no street lights. So just want to say thank you to Nick. You're a lifesaver for helping with this light bar. If you guys want to check it out, we'll put it in the top of the description. You can get a link to it right there. There you go, bro. Oh boy. The most garlicky hummus of all time. <laughs> Everyone has to have some super garlicky hummus or you're gonna stink. All of our, you're gonna smell all of our breaths. Uh, Woo! That's some real garlic, dude. Super intense. That's, that's one. zesty, bro. <laughs> I accidentally put four cloves of garlic in. I thought it'd be really good. It's actually, it is really good. I think like two maybe next time. I don't think it's too much garlic. <laughs> it's a lot. You want some more? You I don't do. have to have more if you don't want. You know, it's strong, but it's good. You're just doing that to make me feel good about myself. <laughs> Look how strong you oh, are. Oh, baby. Wow. I feel really bad. Trent, <sighs> Allie, and I sat out here enjoying this wine. It's all right. I was enjoying my wine all by myself. Taking in this lakeside Slaving view. Slaving away on the stove. I know. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel bad. Because no. you worked so hard. And we were out here just like chatting it away. It's all right. So we got some OG rice with a um, vegetable chickpea based curry tonight. It's raining. Go! Ah! <sighs> Made it. Babe. There's nothing like being in a vehicle and sleeping with the sound of the rain. It's like being in a house times 10 because it's so much louder. It's like really, really relaxing. I think the last thing that we want to talk about, about our bus, specifically how it looks on the outside, is at this point, the way it looks has kind of become part of our identity. The YMCA logo, the Bangor decal, just everything about the outside just has like character to it and has a story to it and it's kind of become part of our identity of this trip. And it's kind of cool because only the people who watch this channel will know that it's our vehicle and that's us on the inside. And there's been a few times where we've been recognized and that makes it really, really cool that there's something that only the people that watch this channel would know. And for all of you guys who are wondering and asking, are you ever going to paint the outside of your bus? The answer is no. We're gonna keep it the way it is forever. We're not gonna sell it. We're not gonna give it away. We're not gonna raffle it off. We wanna keep this thing just like it is for as long as we can. We might change the inside a little bit here and there. We've changed it a bunch. because so we think like the inside is very, very important, but to us, 
the outside, it's gotta stay the same. So, this is where we're gonna wrap this one up. We love you guys so much. Thanks for coming along for this little adventure that we had today and for listening to us ramble on about how dirty our buses. <laughs> dirty our buses. <laughs> we're just excited to call. We're about 25 minutes. We're gonna have to watch the Treadin' Alley tomorrow because we're heading there tomorrow. We're parked at this beautiful lake. Can't wait to show you guys around. But for now, we're gonna say, see you next time.